In the last exercise, we created our very first web page, which consisted of a banner, a heading, and some words in a paragraph. Now, in this exercise, we're going to change the font style, font size, and font color. So it's important that you have your Properties Inspector panel open at the bottom. If it isn't open, it may be because it's been minimized, in which case you'll just have to click this arrow to make it appear or reappear. Or if it's completely gone, you're going, have, you're going to have to go up to the Window menu and check off Properties to make it reappear. Okay. Once you've got this Properties Inspector panel open, then we can proceed with changing uh, the font attributes. So I'm going to select the words first heading and then um, right down here next to the word font there is a down arrow. Right now the font is the default font which I think is Times New Roman but if I click the down arrow it opens up a list of one, two, three, four, five, six different fonts I can pick from. Now that's not a lot of different fonts so um, if you're looking for additional fonts you can go down to edit font list and I can look by scrolling up and down here in the available fonts I can look for different fonts. Now I'm going to find one that's called Pristina so here it is and once I found that font I can click this double arrow and add it to my font list. If I click OK, that font has been added and now if I click this down arrow here, I should be able to see Pristina here. Okay, If I click it, you'll see that the heading has now changed. Okay. And um, depending on your computer, when you go to edit font list, you may have more fonts or less fonts than I've got here. It depends on how many fonts were installed on your computer and some computers will have more, some will have less. Okay. Now, now that I've changed the font style, I can also highlight first heading and I can change the size. I, it can be done two different ways. I can click this down arrow and choose different values so now it's 36 or I can make it smaller 14 or I can also click from this selection here extra extra small extra small small medium large extra large extra extra large and depending which one you pick the fonts will get bigger or smaller um, depending on your choice okay um, in case there is a value that is not listed here, for example, let's say I wanted to make it 42 size font, I can highlight, double click, and type in 42, press enter, and that also will increase or decrease the font size depending on what you typed in here. Okay. Um, I can also change font color by clicking this box here called the text color box. Clicking it opens up a selection of different colors and just by moving the eyedropper to the appropriate color you can click and that will change the font color to whatever color you have selected. Okay. And finally um, I will just move down here. I will highlight the paragraph and I will make the words a little bit bigger, okay, maybe size 24. And keep in mind that these buttons here are have the same function as they did in Microsoft Word and other programs. For example, the B makes the text bolder, meaning it makes the words and letters thicker, and italics slants the text. Okay, so just get familiar and comfortable using um, these different options in the Properties Inspector panel. And once you've made changes to your web page, um, please 
save this document and proceed to the next exercise.